Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back. So for today's video, we're going to be ranking all of the Shadow High dolls. A while ago on this channel, I did a video ranking all of the Rainbow High dolls, and that was a while ago, and so now it's finally time for Shadow High to have its turn. Really quick though, if I sound weird, or if you can tell that this side of my face is like not quite working right, maybe I'm not smiling, or like I just look a little puffy, um, I got my tooth pulled last Friday, and because of the location of the tooth, it meant that the swelling led to sinus swelling, which just makes the whole thing kind of harder to heal. Um, so I'm feeling better, I'm like on the mend, but I still can't like quite smile all the way with this, and I might sound a little bit iffy in my speech, so I am sorry if that's kind of distracting. Um, but I wanted to get this video out for you guys, so yeah, my apologies on that. But more importantly, like I said, we're going to be ranking all of these Shadow High dolls today. As per usual, this is just my opinion, so if you disagree, that is totally fine. It's not a big deal, and I would love to hear your opinions in the comments down below. Also, as per usual, if you find yourself enjoying the video, if you could give it a like, that's very helpful to me. Me. And if you're new here and you like what you see, maybe subscribe so you can see more. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started ranking these Shadow High dolls. I knew I didn't look great or sound great during this footage, and I probably don't sound great right now. But just for reference, that that was me smiling. Like, that was my best attempt at a smile. So really, if I seem not okay or not happy during this video, I promise that I am. I was thoroughly enjoying myself. I just, you can't tell apparently. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So just like with all my rankings, I do use Procreate, and the tiers that I have for the Shadow High ranking are perfect, then almost ideal. Those are dolls that, like, are so close to perfect, but there's usually just one thing that keeps them from being amazing to me. Then we have good, overhyped, mid, and actually bad. So starting off, we're going to be looking at Natasha. And listen, I didn't love this doll at all when she first came out. I hated her. Then I bought her on sale on clearance, and she's high-key so, so pretty. I have the picture here of her second outfit because her first outfit is the ugly part. Like, that's the problem to me. If you like it, that's fine. Like, I'm not trying to insult you. Just to me, I really, really hate that feather dress. And I think that this is so, so much prettier. And now she's, like, one of my favorite dolls. I think she made it into my top 10 dolls of 2022 last year, which is, like, a pretty big thing to say, right? So even though technically I don't like her first um, outfit, and so that might mean that she should go in almost ideal, I am going to put her into perfect because I literally love her so much now. Okay, next up is Chanel. <laughs> and I kind of feel badly. Like, there are things that I like about Chanel. I like the streak of her hair. I think that it's pretty. Like, her dress is nice and poofy, and I love that. I love her lacy socks. I don't know, just overall, I'm very underwhelmed by her. Also, like, as much as I do like the white streak of hair, she does kind of give me skunk vibes because of that, and it's not an insult. Like, skunks are cute, but I don't know if that's the vibe that I want to be getting for this doll, and also I don't think that, like, if you're going to have the skunky feel, the rest of the outfits and everything doesn't really lean into that. Um, so this is probably very controversial because I know a lot of people love Chanel, but I'm going to put her in overhyped. That does not mean that I think she's a terrible doll. I just, I feel like so many people that I've encountered love her, and I'm kind of like, she's okay. Alright, next up is Luna, and I really thought that when Shadow High Series 1 came out, she was going to be one of my favorites. I think that this dress she has is so interesting. Technically, it's not a dress. It's a bodysuit. Um, but that is such an interesting piece of clothing to me. I just think it's so fun and very different. That being said... I find pretty much everything else about her very underwhelming. Like, she's fine. It's just that the only thing I really like about her is the dress. And I did end up getting her on Amazon on, like, a super sale. She was, like, $8 when I got her. And I got her for the dress, and I figured that I could have the doll, and I would customize her or redress her or something. So, like, I do have her, so she's not awful. But I do think that she's a pretty weak design compared to some other Shadow High designs, so she's going to go into mid. Okay, then we have Nicole... This one's hard for me. <laughs> I love her shoes. That's, like, the only thing I love about Nicole. Um, aside from her hair, I like the texture of her hair. I think that that's very pretty, like, the tighter curls. My issue is that she's got this mix of, like, cool tone grays. Like, the silver on her jacket is very cool tone. And then the gray of her hair is more, like, brassy. And it's just very jarring to me, this mix of the cool and the warm. It doesn't look good. It doesn't feel cohesive, in my opinion. It just really, really bothers me. Um, I'm struggling to decide whether I should put her in actually bad or overhyped because I really dislike her. She's easily my least favorite series one Shadow High doll. I really dislike her, but I know other people love her, so I'm like, should she go in overhyped? Maybe, but I am going to put her in actually bad because 
she's one of the few Shadow High dolls that I actively really don't like. Alrighty, then we move on to Ash, and he is the only male Rainbow High or Shadow High doll that I have as of right now. I do like him. I think that my love for him has faded over time. When he came out, I was so excited. I loved everything about him, and I still think he's a good doll. I think all of his clothes are very interesting and very detailed. I think that this face sculpt is a lot better than, like, River. <laughs> um, I think his hair is fine, but when I think of dolls that really stand out in my collection and that I just adore and like I love and they come to mind when I think of my favorite dolls, he's not one of those. Um, he's perfectly fine. He's just not anything amazing. I think I'm going to put him in good because I do think there's nothing really wrong with him. He's just not clicking with me like he used to. I feel like I need to apologize again. I feel like I'm talking very, very softly. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm just living. <laughs> I, I really wanted to be able to get this video out, so yeah, I'm doing my best. Anyway, next up is Heather, another one who I was really, really excited for when Shadow High first came out, and I still do think there are parts of her that are absolutely amazing. I love her face and her makeup. I think is beautiful. I love her hair. Her outfits are fine. I think the outfits are the things that have aged more poorly for me. They're just not things that I'm as excited about anymore. Like, the dress is pretty, her other clothes are pretty, but I don't know, there just seems to be something missing there. I think it's because there's so much detail and care and character in her hair that the outfit, to me, needed to be even more over the top and, like, even more interesting and intense, and it just isn't. So again, not that it's bad, I think that it just needed some oomph. So shockingly, I'm gonna put her in good also. Which, if I had done this ranking, like, just with Series 1 of Shadow High when they first came out, she would have been perfect, but time changes things. Okay, then we have Veronica, and I, I do love Veronica. I love her so much. When I got the Shadow High twins, I definitely thought that Naomi was going to be my favorite, and she still is by a hair, but I love Veronica much, much more than I thought I would. She's so pretty. She's so interesting. She's one of the few dolls that have had feathers incorporated into their design that I think is done well. That's just a personal preference. I'm not always the biggest fan of feathers, but I feel like she pulls it off very well. Her makeup is stunning. The hair blend on both of the Shadow High twins is so unbelievably beautiful. Her accessories, everything. Like, I'm just listing everything that the doll comes with. She's so, so pretty. But I do have to dock points for the bubblegum. I did take mine out and I used some model magic to sculpt her some like little teeth so it looks like she has kind of an open mouth smile. So I love how mine looks, but if I'm judging this based off of like how the doll comes, I do have to dock a little bit of points for the bubblegum. Some people love it, that's fine. I just think that her face is so pretty that I don't want it to be blocked by the gum. So she's gonna go into almost ideal. And that's what I mean by that category, and like you'll see why I made that a category, because there are a lot of Shadow High dolls on this list that are so close to perfect to me, but there's just something off. But she's still really unbelievably beautiful. And all of the things I said about Veronica also go for Naomi. Like, she's such a pretty doll. I feel like these are some of the best dolls that Rainbow High and Shadow High have ever released. Just the detail and the design and the colors, everything was so on point with these dolls. To this day, I love them, and they are, unlike Ash, dolls that come to mind when I think of some of my favorites or, like, the most outstanding ones in my collection. So she is going to go into perfect. She doesn't have the bubblegum, so she doesn't have that slight, like, point deduction. <laughs> okay, then Ainsley. I really wanted to like Ainsley. <laughs> I really was excited for the idea of Ainsley, but she just never clicked for me. I think part of the problem is that she did end up leaking. I can't remember if she released around the same time, but we got like photos for her on Instagram around the same time that we got photos for the Shadow High Twins. And when you compare the two, the Shadow High Twins come out on top. Like they are just so much more visually interesting to me. So I think that some of the reason that I'm not a huge Ainsley fan is because she was absolutely overshadowed by the other releases from the same brand that were happening at the same time. Which is so funny to me that I feel like Shadow High kind of shot themselves in the foot in that regard, but that's not the point of this video. Um, looking at her though, I think that the doll herself, like the base doll, is really very boring. There's just nothing about her that is insanely exciting to me. I do like a lot of the clothes, or I almost like a lot of the clothes. Like, some of them I just don't feel like they match very well. I do think that instead of doing some pieces gold and some pieces silver, it would have been good to pick a metallic so that they all kind of mesh a little bit better. 
I don't know. I liked the idea of having this like fashion studio where most of the clothes are black because I like black clothes. They're very easy to incorporate into other restyles because it's a great neutral to use. But I feel like somehow they made this whole set and almost none of the clothes go well together, at least in my opinion. Again, like if you disagree, that is great. And I'm glad that like Ainsley can bring you joy. But for me, even when she's gone on sale, I couldn't justify it because I feel like all of the pieces are just almost there or they just don't work with the other pieces. So yeah, that's... <laughs> That's how I feel about Ainsley. Anyway, how are we ranking her? Um, I'm gonna say mid, which I feel like is so low and so mean. But yeah, I just don't, I just don't see it. Okay, next up though, this one is another one of my absolute favorite dolls from Shadow High and Rainbow High and beyond. I think Mara Pinka is so unbelievably beautiful. The colors of pink in her design, all of her fashion choices, the cat ears on her hat, like, this is, to me, a perfect doll. And I know that not everyone feels like that. I feel like when the um, Neon Shadow line first came out, most people picked Mara as their least favorite. And I think as time has gone on, more people have started to kind of come around to Mara. But she has always been my number one. I've always been so, so obsessed with her. I'm still so excited to have her in my collection. And every time I see her on my shelf, I get really excited. So it is absolutely no surprise that she is going to go into perfect. Okay, then we have Harley from Neon Shadow, who is my second favorite, and I do really, really like her. I love the base doll. Her makeup is absolutely phenomenal. I know a lot of people don't like her hair because it's very difficult to do restyles with it because of the way they did, like, the braided ropes. I didn't really restyle her hair, so I don't mind, but I understand why that's a complaint. But she has the cat ears again. My complaint with Harley is that pretty much her whole second outfit I really don't like. I don't think that it matches the vibes or the colors of her first outfit, and that really, really bothers me. Um, but aside from that, I think she is a beautiful doll. I think I'm gonna put her in almost ideal because of like the second outfit, but she's really cute. <laughs> okay, then we have Uma, and Uma is unfortunately one that I feel like my opinion has kind of deteriorated over time. I do think she is still really pretty. Like, I don't regret having her, but I feel like she is well beloved by the Rainbow High and Shadow High community, and I just, don't quite get it. <laughs> I think that some of her pieces are really cool. Like these pants are awesome. She has a coat that's really, really cool, but some pieces are really boring slash terrible. Like this sequin crop top is not it to me. I feel like the sequins just look so off. I don't know. There's just something about her that doesn't hit the same way as the other two neon shadow dolls. So I want to clarify that I like her much more than Chanel. But I feel like I have to put her in overhyped because I see nothing but love for Uma. And I'm just not quite there. Like, I do think she's really pretty. I do like her. But I don't love her. So, like, mm, hold on. I'm going to put her at the intersection of good and overhyped. Because I personally would rank her in good. But I do feel like I have to acknowledge that she is, in my opinion, extremely overhyped. So, she's kind of in between the tiers. Oh my god. Eliza. Wow. Wow. I just have to bask in her glory. This is such a pretty doll. She's so, so beautiful. The makeup in the stock photo doesn't capture how colorful and iridescent and amazing the makeup is in person. She's such a stunning doll. The detail on her dress is absolutely fabulous. Her hair, beautiful blend. The wings, oh my god, the wings are so cute. However, I'm not a fan of the writing on the dress. I think that that really takes away from the ethereal vibe and just doesn't quite match. And I also absolutely despise these shoes. Like, you're gonna give me all of this and then give me those shoes? Absolutely not. Those are terrible. I have yet to find a replacement shoe for my Eliza because I will not let her walk around in those. It's awful. It's so bad to me. Um, so Eliza is gonna go into almost ideal because the writing and especially the shoes Definitely detract from her overall appearance, but aside from those two things, I think that she is one of the most interesting and beautiful dolls from Shadow High. Then we have Demi, and I loved this doll upon opening her, and I still do really, really love her, but watching her hair, I messed up her bangs, and like, I've watched so many dolls' hair, even dolls with bangs. Like, it's not something I would consider myself an expert at, but I'm not a novice, you know, like, this isn't my first time watching doll hair. The bangs, though, once I washed them, just refused to behave. Like, the part line completely just disappeared. I couldn't find it. I spent hours trying to fix her bangs, and I finally got her looking passable. 
but it was such a horrible experience and it has kind of like tainted my feelings about her. That being said, I do think that she's really, really pretty. I think the quality of her pieces is absolutely amazing. The colors are beautiful. Um, my biggest gripe with her is like, I think she would have looked better with a darker lip and maybe some fangs, but mostly I love her. I think I'm going to put her in almost ideal just because I, there's something about her that is preventing her from being imperfect. Okay, my camera literally just died in the middle of a sentence, but what I was trying to say was that Demi goes in almost ideal because my experience with her just like pushed her down from perfect, but like she's really, really good. My goodness, okay. <laughs> Lola. I don't have Lola. I think she is really, really beautiful, but I keep waiting for her to go on sale. She just hasn't in my area, which is super irritating because I know she's gone on sale in other areas. Um, yeah, it's, it's what it is, but I do think that she's really, really cute. I love her shoes and the little fishnets. Her face is absolutely gorgeous. I think the outfit is like, you know, I don't know. Cause like the outfit's really cute. I don't want to put her in perfect, but I don't know what it is that's separating her from being there. She's really cute. I'm not going to put her in perfect. I can't put my finger on it, but she is going to go in almost ideal because she's really cute. Then we have Carla, and I love so much about Carla. I feel like her outfit is so detailed. I don't have her, so I can't speak to the quality, but it looks very quality. I love her shoes. They're funny to me because, like, the shape of them with, like, the covers kind of reminds me of hooves, and I just find it funny. Um, I like the very, very pale pink. The thing that is off for me is, like, her face and the makeup. I understand why her eyebrows, like, blend into her skin tone because, obviously, she is very pale with very pale-toned hair. But to me, I'm like always comparing this doll to Delilah from Rainbow High. Delilah is also pale. She's albino. And so she has pale skin and like pale blonde hair. But I feel like she just doesn't blend together so much in the like eyebrow and skin region. And something about Carla is really, really blending. I know it's not quite as bad in person because I have seen this doll in person. But that's what's put me off from ever buying her. So I'm going to put her... You know, I, I feel like by my qualifications, because it's just the one thing, she should go in almost ideal, but I'm breaking all of my own rules and she's going to go into good because I feel like I don't like her as much as the other dolls in almost ideal. She's still really good. Like she's high up there, but she's just not quite there. Um, Rex, I honestly don't really have any feelings about his puffer coat's cool. I don't know. I just, he exists. <laughs> I literally don't know what to say about him. Like, he's fine. I don't have any complaints. I'm not like, oh, this is wrong, and this is wrong, and this is what I don't like. I just don't find his doll very appealing, so I'm going to put him in mid. And then Monique. Oh my goodness, my girl, Monique. She's so, so pretty. I love this doll. She's not as high tier as Perfect, I don't think. She's really good, though. I love the braids and the colors for the braids that they chose. Her earrings are beautiful, and her dress is so so stunning uh, I know not everyone likes her skin tone I do think that it's like a little bit like a smidge bright for my taste but I'm not like opposed to the fantasy skin tones she's gonna go in almost ideal she's just not quite perfect but she's very high up there then we have glitch and I think glitch is so interesting I love her face I love her makeup her outfit is just so unique there's no other rainbow high or shadow high doll that has an outfit quite like hers there's not really many other dolls in general that have an outfit quite like hers. I really, really enjoy that. I think that if they had, like, the budget to push it even further, that would have been really cool, because I think that Glitch is just one of those dolls that needs to be pushed to the extreme. If we could see some more, like, hair accessories, or if they had gone all the way, because her boots are, like, a whole pant, right? Like, her boots and her pant is, like, one item if they had had like gloves for her too so her top is also kind of similar to the pants in that way that would have been really cool I don't know she's awesome and I know that she's so weird and so like out there but I almost feel like they could have pushed her further so she's also going to go into almost ideal okay then we have Zoe and I really really love the premise of Zoe I think her base doll is absolutely stunning. The hair with the style and the color is so pretty. Her face up is just absolutely amazing. I love the makeup they chose for her. I love how weird she is. But I will say that I think the whole doll, like the whole package, is not quite what I would want for her to be. Um, I did a whole unboxing and review on Zoe where I talked a lot about this, but I think that 
they really went in so hard with the Novi Stars reference, and then because she only has one outfit, I feel like they just couldn't tie everything that they were trying to put into Zoe into one outfit. I think that this doll really would have benefited from a second outfit because I think we could have gotten more of those references and themes in two outfits instead of trying to get it all into just the one. So I do really love her. Her jacket is very, very high quality, but I just think with Zoe I wish we could have seen more and that's what makes me sad because I think she's so cool in concept and the base doll is so, so beautiful, but I just feel like she really suffered. I think they all suffer from not having the second outfit. Like, I understand. It's like a budget thing. I still don't love it. <laughs> like, I would still like to be able to see the second outfits. And I think that a lot of Rainbow High and Shadow High dolls suffer now from only having the one outfit to kind of show off their style. But I think that Zoe suffered more than any other one. So because of that, I'm going to put her in good because I do still think she's very fun, very interesting, but she suffered. Okay, and then last of all, I, Daya or Dia? I think I said Daya before, so we're just gonna run with that. I love everything about this outfit. I think it is so fun. The shoes are phenomenal. I love the full body kind of glitter um, mesh suit, the shorts, the tank, the puffer. They're all so cool. I hate the skin tone. <laughs> Part of it is that I really dislike that in Shadow High Series 2, we got two dolls with a purple skin tone. Because to me, I'm like, you could have just made her, like, a fantasy blue skin tone, and I feel like that would have made it, like, a little bit better. Um, I don't know. I just don't like this particular shade of purple for her. It is what it is. I obviously can't do anything about it, but that's what's holding me back from her. I think otherwise she is really, really beautiful. I hesitate, though, because I feel like the skin tone is such a big aspect, so I hesitate to put her in almost ideal. I think I'm going to put her in good, because I do really love every other aspect of the doll, but that skin tone just is not working for me. So that is going to be all of the dolls ranked. Shadow High was obviously a lot easier than Rainbow High, because they just have fewer dolls that are out right now, so I did want to rank them and try to, like, kind of get ahead of that. I don't even know. I think they're coming out with more Shadow High dolls. I feel like I've heard so many different things, but yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and get it out of the way while it was manageable. So this is going to be my list. Still very favorable. I think that in general, while I didn't like the monochromatic um, aspect of Series 1 of Shadow High as much, I do really like the more fantasy aspect that they've done in later releases and the more like edgy and interesting design choices that they go with for Shadow High. So I'm not surprised that this is a very favorable ranking just because I do think that the blanket Rainbow High is more willing to experiment with Shadow High than they are with Rainbow High proper. And I really appreciate it. I think that it's very, very interesting. But yes, that is going to be my ranking for today. As I said before, I would love to hear your opinions. See your rankings down in the comments below. Sorry again for my voice. I feel like I'm super off, but I'm doing my best. <laughs> in any case, though, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.